What's going on, everybody? C4 here, battle in a cold. Had to do a uh, an old school reupload or a video that was taken down yesterday for uh, USC NCAA rebuild. Like I've had a bad, like it's super hot. It was like I think I made a tweet. It was like 104 degrees here, which is like the hottest day it's been in years. And I had like 100 and almost a fever, 103. So like nothing was getting done yesterday. Had to upload a video, or else the YouTube algorithm kills you. And I don't want to get killed right before the beginning of Madden 20. I'm still super sick, throat sore as hell. We're bringing back the content. Today is going to be part one of a two-part video. Last year, we did this video. It helped you guys out for your franchise modes. These videos right now, as we lead up to the release of Madden 20, are going to help you out with your franchise modes. Some names to get you ready to just start to dominate. And last year, we just did a general top 10. Today, because I think there's so much value, we're going to start with the top 10 offensive players. You should look at potential trade targets right away when you hop into your Madden 20 franchise mode. And in a day or two, we will be doing the top 10 at defensive players. But there's lots of good value, especially with this new ratings curve, the rating switch or whatever they want to call it that they did uh, in Madden 20. There's a lot more value to be had. So I have four honorable mentions because it's really tough to get this into 10, but I want it to be at 10. So we'll just, you know, you should get around with that with honorable mentions. Honorable mention number one, we have 71 overall wide receiver DJ Chark, 22 years old from Jacksonville. He's wide receiver six on the depth chart, so we should be... Uh, another one, like a lot of these candidates too, they might not necessarily always be trade targets. You could find them probably stashed on practice squads or they may get released. Uh, but DJ Chark is wide receiver 6 on the Jags depth chart. 78 catching, 81 spectacular catch, 93 speed, 93 jumping, 86 for 200 pounds. That's a beast right there. Honorable mention number 2, we have the tight end from LA Chargers, Andrew Vallert. Not gonna lie, never heard of this guy in my life, but I was going through the official ratings, look, this guy looks like a beast. He's a 66 overall tight end, and he comes in with 78 catching, 87 acceleration, 83 spectacular catch, 85 speed, and at 6'5", 245, there's a lot of value to have right now. He's buried on the depth chart for the tight end position for the Chargers, so he should be very easy to trade for, and a lot of upside there for a 66 overall tight end. Going to honorable mention number three, we have Debo Samuel. The 71 overall wide receiver from the 49ers, a rookie, second round pick. So this is a little bit of cheese, but he's currently wide receiver six on the 49ers depth charge, which means, you know, if the AI isn't perfect, which it's usually not, you could finesse the 49ers here to get an uber talented wide receiver. I didn't want to put him in the top 10 just because it is, you know, pretty cheesy. I don't really like the, the cheese on the channel, but it is what it is. He's wide receiver six. Coming, comes in with 84 ball carrier vision, 82 catching traffic, 83 catching, 85 spectacular catch, 91 speed, and 92 jumping. And then finishing up with honorable mention number four, we have Ronald Jones, the 22-year-old running back from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's currently running back three on the depth chart, so that might make it a little difficult to trade for him because teams usually roster three, and they probably won't be one to get rid of him right away. That's why he made it honorable mention, but he's 68 overall. Comes in with 93 acceleration, 88 juke, 93 speed, 84 carrying, and 93 agility. So a very elusive runner who had a god-awful rookie season last year with the Bucks, But still lots of value, and he's a home run hitter for your franchise modes, if you can trade for him. So with that being said, the honor mentions are done. Let's jump into the official top 10 offensive players you should look to trade for in your Madden 20 connected franchise modes. Starting at number 10, we have the 65 overall quarterback from Arizona, Brett Hundley. He's bounced around uh, from, what is it? He went to the Packers. and I felt like he went somewhere before from Green Bay, somewhere in the Arizona. I could be wrong. Either way, he's 26 years old now, but still has really intriguing stats if you're looking to get an underrated quarterback and develop him. Comes with 85 throw power, 87 acceleration, 84 throw accuracy short, 85 speed, 76 throw accuracy medium, and 75 deep throw accuracy. So he's pretty well-rounded for a 65 overall quarterback. He's 26. So there's still more than enough time to develop him into maybe something special. So definitely keep an eye on him if you are hurting at the QB position. Going to player number nine, we have the 64 overall running back, the rookie running back from the Carolina Panthers, Jordan Scarlett by way of my Florida Gators. He's very simple when we talk about what could be appealing. 64, so he's definitely going to be a guy that's on the bubble to make the roster. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 carrying. Those are all pretty favorable stats if you're looking to fill out your depth charts or you're doing some sort of like cupcake roster rebuild. I think a guy like Scarlett brings some really good value for only a 64 overall player. Going to player number eight, I have Damian Ratley, the 69 overall wide receiver from this Cleveland Browns. He's currently wide receiver six on the roster. He's 24 years old. Comes in with 79 catching traffic, 81 catching, 93 speed, 
82 spectacular catch and 90 jumping at 6'2", 200 pounds. He was one of my go-to trade targets last year in Madden 19. And in Madden 20, even with the rating stretch, he still looked very, very promising. A nice trade target that can pretty much play uh, anything that you want him to do as an X or Y wide receiver on your rosters. Going to trade target number seven. We're going back to the running back position. We're going to look at the Jacksonville Jaguars to another rookie. And we have Ryquel Armstead by way of Temple. He's a 65 overall running back. He's running back five on the roster. So he may be a candidate for the practice squad or outright getting released. He comes in with 81 trucking, 90 speed, 84 carrying. So he's, he's this year's running back that has good trucking and good speed. For anyone that's been playing Madden for a bit, he's like the Derek McFadden, Niall Davis type player. That could be a trade target if you like to just you know utilize that truck stick more often than not with your running back. Going to trade target number six, stay at the running back position. We have running back DeAndre Washington of the uh, Vegas. Do we call him Vegas? They're classified as Vegas and Madden. I really do wonder because we're using them as our franchise. If I had to relocate them, they're going to do it automatically. But anyways, DeAndre Washington of the Raiders. Uh, he's running back five on the roster. He's a 73 overall. He's 26, so I mean, for a running back, you're gonna get you know three good years out of him. But if you need a trade target, you need a guy that can play right away, or you get you know victim of injury. I think a guy like Washington could get the job done. 83 ball carrier vision, 92 acceleration, 83 juke, 91 speed, 79 carrying, 90 agility. Very nice looking running back there. Very well rounded from the Oakland. We'll call him Oakland for now. The Oakland Raiders. Going to trade target number five. We have Shelton Gibson, wide receiver from the Philadelphia Eagles, 25 years old. He brings in a 70 overall. He's wide receiver six on the Eagles depth chart, 82 catching, 84 spectacular catch, 86 juke, and 93 speed. The Philadelphia Eagles drafted him to come in and be a deep threat. And he's just, I don't know, for whatever reason, the Eagles coaching staff has never really given him full confidence. When he has come in and they've given him some nice stats where he can just run streaks and run down deep. He has made a couple big touchdown catches for the Eagles, but he's really buried right now on their depth chart. And should, uh, you know, he could be a surprise cut, but an easy trade target, I think, of Philadelphia Eagles. Won't be asking for too much in your franchise modes if you're looking for a deep threat that, unlike some of these other guys that don't have uh, the elite catching ability because they're rookies, a guy like Shelton Gibson could scratch that itch for your franchises. Going to trade target number four, we have wide receiver Emmanuel Hall from the Chicago Bears. The 22-year-old is a 67 overall, very high rating for an undrafted free agent. Uh, he's wide receiver eight. On the Bears roster. So this guy here, I would sit and wait. He's, he's a top trade target for me. But wide receiver eight, he is most likely going to be freebie. You get him by a practice squad or he'll get cut. Comes in 79 catching, 93 speed, 95 jumping, 94 acceleration. Freaking nature. Like, I, he's right one of my top trade targets. You never can have good enough wide receivers. And you might be noticing a common trend that we're looking at players with high physical attributes. Obviously, it's going to be the thing that's most notable when you look at guys with, oh, you see force just putting on the fast guys. But speed's like the hardest thing to develop. If you trust that these certain guys you're going to trade for, you're going to want to put them through, um, you know, priority training and stuff like that. They're going to be able to grow their catching ability and, and their route running and their technical side. But it's so hard in Madden to grow those physical attributes, to get, get that speed up into the nice, to get the jumping up. So those targets, that's why I'm, I'm kind of highlighting the guys that already have that excellent base of athleticism. So you can more so, once you acquire them, train to them and, and get them more up to speed with their technical side. So going to trade target number three, sticking at wide receiver, we're going to wide receiver Darius Slayton of the New York Giants, 22 years old, bringing in a 68 overall. He's wide receiver seven, on their depth chart. And we're actually talking about, we did a video talking about OP rookies. And a lot of those guys, there's some carryover here on this list. And it is more so because of where they are slotted on the depth chart, which makes them available for trades. And Darius Slayton's wide receiver seven right now for the Giants. He comes in with 80 ball carrier vision, 92 acceleration, 83 spectacular catch, 93 speed, 93 jumping. Again, in a simply outstanding athlete that could easily emerge right away as your outside wide receiver. Now, again, these, these kind of come down to when we do series on the channel where we're not going for the best roster right away. We're kind of maybe starting to, to make a challenge. These are the kind of guys that will be most beneficial to you. But even if that, if you, if you have a team that's suffering through injuries and you still have uh, before the trade deadline, a lot of these guys could be big time targets for you. So that was number three. Going to number two, we're going to running back Bryce Love from the Washington Redskins, 71 overall. Running back four, he was, I think, a fourth round, third or fourth round pick for the Washington Redskins, which I don't know if that's actually, you know, has any influence on the trade value or when you're trying to make a trade. But Bryce Love, he's running back four. 
So usually a team only rosters three running backs. So he could be a guy that finds himself on the practice squad. He comes in with 91 acceleration, 84 juke move, 92 speed, 86 carrying, and 89 agility. I mean, two years ago, he's one of the most dynamic running backs in college football. And he still holds a pretty good rating here in Madden 20. So if you need a running back, a guy that's going to have some decent upside, might actually have a generous dev trade as well. Keep an eye on Bryce Love for the Washington Redskins. And then up with the number one trade target. We've talked about him so much on this channel. I feel like if I don't trade for him in one of my series, I'm going to look like a, just a goddamn idiot. The number one trade target for me is quarterback Tyree Jackson of the Buffalo Bills. Only a 64 overall, but 21-year-old quarterback who stands at six foot seven, weighs in at 250 pounds. His stats are ridiculous for a developmental quarterback in Madden 20. 95 throw power, 89 acceleration, 86 speed, 77 throw on the run, 76 throw under pressure, 74 throw actually deep. He is the top guy. I feel like if, if you're just using regular draft classes, you're not going to be getting custom draft classes. Um, you know, and you want a real quarterback, the top prospect is going to be a tie rejection. Won't cost you an arm and a leg to move. Uh, move him and get him from the Buffalo Bills. He's a UDFA, so there is anything behind the scenes under the hood for Madden that has anything in relation to when a player was drafted. Oh, this is a first-round pick. Even though he's wide, you know, bottom of our depth chart, he still is a first-round pick, so it's going to be very difficult. Sometimes you, you'll notice that in Madden. Some players are super difficult to trade for for whatever reason. I feel like maybe there's some weight behind what round they were drafted or not. Either way, Tyree Jackson was an undrafted free agent, and he's sitting behind Josh Allen, so he should... And he, I think he's QB3 on their roster, so... Oh, by all means, Tyree Jackson is the top guy. I'm very excited to play with him. I've actually played with him before in the game. He was pretty damn good, uh, and I didn't really... I just played with him in year one, so I didn't really get to develop him. But he is a guy that I'm incredibly interested in getting. I think if you guys are looking for a quarterback, Tyree Jackson should be... Even if you're just... You know, you're a team like, you know, the Chargers. Or any team that is an old quarterback. I think a guy like Tyree Jackson will bring a lot of value to trade for him and develop as, as the heir to whatever, like, you know, Green Bay, you could look at Packers, you could look at the Patriots, even though they have Stidham there, who got some pretty generous stats in Madden. I think Tyree Jackson is the creme de la creme of developmental quarterbacks in Madden 20. So there you go, guys. Hey, look, I made through it without having my throat just straight up blow up on me. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this, as I am trying my best to get you guys as prepared as humanly possible for the drop and launch of Madden 20. So we'll be back in probably two days to recap the top 10 defensive trade targets. I think tomorrow's video, I'm going to be ranking the, the rebuild teams out of all 32. We'll put a nice little order that uh, you guys should look at. At least, you know, maybe help you out in, in deciding what your franchise should be. Uh, so as always, guys, if you learned something today, if, if you're excited for Madden 20, if it's your first time stopping by and you've yet to hit that subscribe button, smash that subscribe button, smash the like button. Usually I'm going to be a little bit more enthusiastic, but I'm literally just coming back from the dead. So, uh, you know, bear with me a little bit, guys. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, it's C4 saying peace out.